Hi everybody, it's me Phone Spear again. I'm just bringing you this tutorial here on how to install the new patch for the AVP2 server mod 1.2.3. They've made um, two more pa another patch before this, which was AVP. Uh, obviously, it was AVP um, Savior mod patch 1.2. But that was just that way um, Alien vs Predator 2 players, uh, such as you and I, could connect to the new master server because the old one, the one that would that uh, is run by Hair Alien, the host didn't like all the bandwidth usage the app the master server was using, so they uh, had to move that to a new server. Um, what this 1.2.3 uh, patch does is it makes um it, it just fixes a few bugs that 1.2.2 had so um this is how to install it and I'll be starting off the install first with um if you just knew about the patch now and you want to install it so a fresh install of the patch go to your internet browser of choice um before I start this off though, just let me uh, say that you do this at your own risk and I'm not responsible for any damages you or anyone else causes uh, to this computer. Thank you. Okay, now let's, you know, keep going with the tutorial. Okay, first you want to go to, you can use Google if you want, that's what I use. Just go to Lithfac. Type it into Google, Lithfac, L-I-T-H-F-A-Q, and you should see a link right on top that says Lithfac Portal, and it'll take you to this link. On the front page, uh, you'll see an option for, um, well, well, you'll see a blog saying Master Server Patch, and he'll explain why the host isn't happy about hosting the master server and they're going to delete the account. So, you'll see right here in red, please note this is a needed update. If you do not update, you cannot play. Simple as that, this goes for servers as well. Which is true because a lot of servers that had the patch before um, aren't showing on the new patch. So, download the patch by clicking here. This is if you already have the patch installed and you don't want to use auto updater. Or, if you don't have any versions of the patch installed, you've got to click here to download the full install. Click here. And a download um, option should come up, and you want to hit Save File. And if you've got um, wherever you want to save for, um, like where you choose the directory to save, a good directory would be in Firefox just save it to my documents. Okay, I've already downloaded it just to test it out and hit yes to well yeah just hit OK download it to your my documents. This is the AVP2 save your mod uh, well yeah install server install version 1.2.2 you're going to need to download this first so that way it'll you'll be all set to install the patch as well for 1.2.3 because auto updater does not detect the 1.2.3 patch so go to my documents because that's where we downloaded the patch just leave listfac open the listfac page open because you're going to need that in a second and here it is, AVP2 ser Save Your Mod Server Install version 1.2.2. Click on that to open it up. Taking a while. You can scan it for viruses if you want. I've already done this like a hundred times, so I haven't detected any viruses. And drag it out of the um, re uh, out of the zip file, and drag it, I guess, into. Oh. 
drag it into my document. Alright, I've, I've already dragged it out, so it's asking me to replace it. Uh, okay, now once that's dragged out, run it. Run the AVP2 Savior Mod Server install, and then afterwards you can delete it, because chances are the other patches will probably have the same name, and you might get confused. Just, just wait for it to run, and then install should pop up off the right here. It should say on the top, AVP2 Savior Mod Setup. Make sure all of these are checked off, and it should just only take three and a half megabytes worth of space in your hard drive. Hit Next, and it should find the AVP2 file, Aliens vs Predator 2, um, in your Program Files folder, uh, automatically. So just hit Install to install it straight to that folder, because that's what you know that's where it needs to be, and it should ta it should be relatively quickly, and hit close. Okay, once that's all done, um, I, uh, I, I don't know if you're going to fix it in the future, but right now, autoupdater.x, the thing, uh, the uh, application you can use that's in the Aliens vs Predator 2 folder, it's normally used to update the um, and make a patch, uh, bring the patch to you, so you don't have to look over the internet for it. But right now, you have to go to um, listfact.com which is why I told you, you know, leave the page open, and hit Master Server Patch 1.2.3, and hit uh, click here to download. You you need that. Uh, you might not need this if um, you're not having problems with 1.2.2, but um, if you are, download the 1.2.3 patch, and you should be all set. Downloaded it, so it's just asking me to re-download. Okay, then after it's done scanning for viruses, go back in your near My Documents folder. You should see it's right here. Patch 1.2.x to 1.2.3. It should be at least, third, uh, it should be 38 kilobytes um, in size. And let's exit out of that. I don't need that open. And it should have a application called 1.2.3.x. That's just that the dot .x is just the end of the file name, like what type of file it is. Okay. Now open this up. The 1.2.3. And it should just give you an option to install main files because it's only a patch. And hit next. And it'll only take 20 kilobytes. Hit install. And it should be all set. It also finds your AVP2 directory automatically as well if you've officially installed it. If not, you'll have to look for it. Same as the version 1.2.2 patch and specify its directory. Okay, now that I've shown you how to download and install a fresh install, um, anyone who's operating on the, um, uh, it'll even say up here on the list back page, if you're still running 1.2 or 1.2.1 patch, you're going to need to update. So just run autoupdate.x, which I'll, I'll show you right here. Uh, anyone looking for the patch too, go to my computer. Gonna, if you want to find your Aliens vs Predator 2 folder, and go to C, mine's D, because I messed up the uh, directory when I was installing Windows XP. Go to Program Files. It might give you an option saying that this is an unsafe operation. Just just hit Continue to AV, uh, Program Files or whatever it was. I forget what it was, and you should be in D, pro 